Hello friends, welcome to next tutorial in ChatGPT RPA series. In today's blog, we'll write code to set up cron scheduler jobs on Windows, Linux to watch your file drops. Links to GitHub source code and YouTube playlist is included in the video description below. So let's browse to our GitHub RPA repository. Now inside this RPA repository, if you're looking for other Python automation code, you'll find links to tons of different examples which perform a variety of different tasks. In today's blog, our main emphasis will be on writing code to set up automated program execution based on some defined recurrence and schedule on Linux and Windows system. So let's get started. So let's define with an easier task first. First, we are going to set up a cron job. That means a scheduler job on Windows. So as you can see, I have laid out the steps here because it's mostly GUI based or Windows uh, Windows based. So I'm going to show you a, a, a light demo in a few seconds. But let's go through the steps what you need to do to, put, to set up this schedule. We'll simply need to use the task scheduler app on the Windows and there inside just create a task and define triggers and action. So let's go find that task scheduler and here once you find that, click on create tasks and here first give it a name to that this particular task. I'm just going to use test here, test and then you define the trigger. So here trigger means when you want this job to get executed. So for example, you want to run it a daily, weekly on a certain schedule. There are different options out there, very simple uh, intuitive interface. So simply for example, I'm going to run it by weekly or daily. And then once you define that trigger schedule, all right. Then next step is you want to define the action. So let's go set this up. Now click on action and here in action. So for example, at that particular certain schedule or recurring schedule, you want to start a program or you want to, you know, there were used to be some other options that you could have displayed a message or email, but those are deprecated. Maybe in newer version, there are more options out there. But for example, in that particular schedule, you want to start a program. So here you give the part to that your Python exe or your binary executable. So uh, what a scheduler app is going to do, it's going to find and it's going to execute the job at that certain interval. All right, so next step is let's go define that crop job in Linux. So it's uh, as simple as that here, but here the only thing is unlike Windows, unlike Windows, you don't find that interface here. You have to write it. So, and the code is not that difficult. It's very, very simple. So as you can see, I have laid out the steps in this notebook here. So let's go head out to our Ubuntu machine and then I will show you how you can simply, you know, uh, create a cron job here. So in your Ubuntu machine, first type cron tab hyphen L is going to display the list of all the cron job already been set up in your machine. I have none, so I displayed nothing. So it's to set up a new job, you just say cron tab hyphen E and it's going to display and it's going to, you know, come with an editor here. Now in editor, as you can see, is a very simple editor. And here you have to write one line of the code per schedule. So for example, you want to set up a, you know, you want to say, take a backup of your machine or you want to run an alarm clock or you want to display a message. Here is interfaces, you know, it's, there's no interface. You just have to write your own code. So simply go through the documentation and is that is very, very simple. Here, it, there are five asterisks followed by the um, OS command followed by the argument. So first five asterisks, that means a star. These represent the date, time and uh, month on a schedule. So for example, you want to, and if you leave that blank, so for example, if you leave the minute blank, so this is going to run every minute or every hour. So simply it's five asterisk represent minute, hour, day of the month, month, and the day of the week. And followed by the python.exe or per particular file you want to, uh, you want to run and followed by any follow, follow up arguments. So here, as you can see, there is no interface, but it's not that bad. Simply you type that particular command here, five asterisk and replace it by the particular schedule you want to use, followed by the exe file or the binary file you want to execute. So it's as simple as that. Once you set that up and you just say cron tab hyphen L and it's going to display all the current jobs you have already been set up on your Ubuntu machine. All right, in next section, let's go, you know, uh, write the finally the code. So in this code, I want to show you how you can watch a file drop. So for example, you want to, uh, as soon as a file is received from your data warehouse or somewhere else, you want to insert the take the data and ins insert into a database. So simply in this a little code what you can do. You, so I'm going to import the time module and OS module. I'm going to watch the directory. For example, in this directory, if any file is dropped, I want to take that file and take some action. 
So define the command to run when the knife new file is added. So here, for example, this uh, simple command it does Python. It could be anything, say move or copy or anything, or you can call your own script. So I want to execute that command as soon as the a new file is dropped on that watch directory. So scene files, I'm going to set up a new uh, set for that scene files. So again, the reason I'm using set because it contains the non-duplicate set of values here. So while true, so as soon as, so let's go first list out the content of the directory. So that's why I'm saying os.list directory and whatever the content of the directory, I'm going to store into a files uh, variable, files array here. And inside that files array, I'm going to read one file at a time. And if the file is not in uh, scene files, that means file has not been seen yet, let's take some action. So suppose you want to add it to your database and here you can write your code, whatever you want to do. So first time it will see nothing. So it's going to read all the content of that particular directory and it's going to take action on each file. But next time, as soon as any file is dropped in the directory, is going to is this while loop is will take appropriate action. So as you can see, and here you can define the time. Here I'm watching it every second. You can increase it as per your requirement. So again, this code is very, very useful. I have seen you, you know, people using it for multiple purposes. You can define your own schedule. You can define this. This definitely helps a lot when you are doing some automation using Python module here. So um, people, you, again, as you can see in this code, you can, you know, you can do multiple tasks as per your requirement here. I hope this you find this code very useful. And if you have any issues, uh, please open a GitHub issue log and I'll be happy to help you out. Thank you again. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.